Alright, so the amount of times this has confused students is unreal. And you know what? I don't really blame them, because I was in the same boat, until I realised the rationale behind the naming of rib views. So as you know, when looking at the oblique ribs, we have the right posterior oblique, the RPO, the left posterior oblique, LPO, right anterior oblique, RAO, and left anterior oblique. LAO. Now before we go any further, let's revisit the basics. If a patient is facing the x-ray tube, therefore the back is against the bucky, the patient is known to be in the AP or anterior posterior view. And if conversely they're facing the bucky and their back is against the tube, then they're known to be in the PA or posterior anterior position. Okay, so that's clear. Essentially if the patient is facing you, then they're AP, and if they're not facing you, they're PA. But when talking about rib views, it kind of has the opposite meaning. And this is where it causes the confusion. Because oftentimes you won't see it as, for example, PA oblique, you'll see it in terms of left posterior oblique, which is a bit different. Because the LPO and the RPO views, which have the words posterior oblique in them, doesn't have the patient facing the board like you would expect in a PA view, but rather they're kind of facing you. And similarly, the LAO and the RAO views, which have the patient facing the board, even though they have the words anterior oblique in them. And the reason for this is that you've got to kind of think of these three words as describing the side of the patient that is touching the board. Okay, so for example, in a left posterior oblique, it's the patient's left shoulder, the posterior aspect against the board, and they're obliqued, which means they're tilted. But again, with the left side touching the board. So therefore, the right side is away. And this is what the position that we call the left posterior oblique. It's a left posterior oblique opening up the left rib cage, where they're kind of facing us, which you can also call this an AP oblique or rather a left AP oblique. And similarly with the right posterior oblique, it's the patient's right shoulder, the posterior aspect, which is the back of the shoulder that's against the board. And of course they're obliqued. So in this case, it's the left side that's raised. It's the right posterior oblique opening up the right rib cage. So again, they're facing us, which means another term for this view is also a right AP oblique. See how it's a bit confusing? It's a posterior oblique, which usually you'd think of as them facing away from the tube, but actually it's them being an oblique in the AP position. Now, what if we have a left anterior oblique? We well, should be able to get this, right? Just follow the words. It's the patient's left shoulder, now the anterior side or the front of the shoulder that's touching the board and they're obliqued. So this time I'm in a PA position facing the board with my right side raised. So you'd also be able to call this a left PA oblique. Now this view is actually opening up the right side of the rib cage, not the left, okay? When in the anterior oblique position, it's actually the side that's away from the board that we're mainly interested in. I'll explain why in a second. And lastly, we have the right anterior oblique. Now you should be able to definitely do this one yourself. It's the patient's right shoulder, the anterior part of it against the board, and they're obliqued. Again, in the PA position with the left side raised, you would call this a right PA oblique. And remember, it's the left side of the rib cage that's opened in this projection. Now let me tell you why that is and also the similarities between these views. So as you may have noticed, two of the views show the left rib cage and the other two show the right rib cage. The LPO and the RAO highlight the left ribs and the RPO and the LAO highlight the right ribs. This is because when you flip the patient and everything else remains the same, the view is also flipped. So let's now look at a top-down view of an LPO. This is the bucky and this is the tube and there's the x-ray coming out, and the patient will be positioned like this, with their back and their left shoulder against the board, which, as you know, is opening up the left rib cage. Now, let's say we flip the patient and the bucky and the x-ray tube with the patient being in the same position. We'd still be looking at the same left side of the ribs, but now the position would be called a right anterior oblique view. But you don't have to flip the equipment for this to make sense. Let's go back to our original position, the LPO. Now let's say we simply flip the patient like this, so now we're facing the board, same angle and all. What position would this be? Well again, it'll be a right anterior oblique, right? Because the front of the right shoulder is facing the board. And as you know from before, this position is still looking at the left ribs. And when you look at the anatomy app, it also makes sense. So let's say the bucky is behind the patient, and if I position them like this, this is the left posterior oblique. The patient's left posterior aspect of their shoulder is against the board and you can see the left side of the ribs opening up. Now, if I flip the patient the other way around, it's like the right anterior oblique position, but it's still looking at the left side of the ribs to be opened up. So my point with all this is that to make it easier for yourself, just remember one set of views, in my opinion, the LPO and the RPO, because they correspond to the left and right side of the ribs, respectively. And the other one is just the opposite, because it gets kind of confusing in the moment to be like, which ribs am I looking at with the RAO again? Just remember one, and the other one is just flipped. 
easy. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And if you did, share it with someone that's struggling. Now to really put it all together, I recommend you watch this other video I made on how to never forget your radiographic projections. So click here to watch that. I think you'll find it really useful. All right, see you there. Stay curious.